throttle arm assembly and the brake arm assembly. Take the throttle arm assembly and insert it into the metal round circle at the top of the brake assembly. Next, we're going to take the brake leg assembly. This one has the chain attached to it. And you can see there's a little knob at the top. What we're going to do is insert this into the brake handle assembly and connect it until the knob clasps into one of the holes. This can be adjusted later when we bring it to our car. Next, we're going to take our support strap, where you can see there's a clasp on one end, and there's a hole on the other. And this will actually insert into the throttle arm assembly, we'll slide it right through, and that is all set and ready to wait for when we assemble it in the car. Next, you're going to take the throttle leg assembly. There's a knob at the end as well. You're going to connect it into the arm throttle assembly and pop it in place. And this can also be adjusted when we bring it to our car. And lastly, we have our spinner knob, which will connect to our steering wheel. Here, we're going to take the throttle leg assembly and attach it to the gas pedal. You're going to want to make sure that you assemble it and attach it at an angle and you're going to tighten up the screws to make sure it's nice and snug against the gas pedal. Next you're going to want to take the brake leg assembly and attach the chain to go over and under the brake. You're going to take the chain and connect it to the bottom screw attaching like so. Then you're going to take the two washers that come with it and also place those over the screw. And then connect the screw into the top portion of the brake assembly. Next, take the screw knob and tighten up the brake leg assembly onto the brake pedal. Make sure you tighten it nice and tight so it doesn't move. Next, take the support strap and wrap it around your steering column. Open the clasp and attach it to the brake leg assembly to hold your driving device into place. And lastly, take the spinner knob and connect it to your steering wheel. Test it to make sure it is nice and secure. Now we are ready to drive.